So we had a request in the forums to do a little tutorial on how to convert um, a DXF file into G code or uh, NC file. So I'm going to show you guys a way that I found that I think works pretty well to get your DXF file into a file that can be cut by the Maslow. So if you go to this website, conversio.co, um, you can see that they have a free online DXF to SVG converter. So you just select wherever you want to upload your file from. Um, I downloaded a chair from AtFab, um, and it's actually a design by OpenDesk, but they have the download through their website too. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and click from computer and I have that um, DXF file downloaded onto my desktop. So I'm just going to select it. Um, and then you can see there it says to SVG. So I'm just going to click convert. And now um, it's finished. So I'll just click download. And then it's right there. Um, and if I click it, it'll open it in this new window. Um, and you can just kind of see it as is, like this. Um, but what's going to be better is to go ahead and get it out of your downloads. So once you've gotten um, the chair download as an SVG, then you can go ahead and go into MakerCam. And open that SVG file that you converted from the DXF. And it'll open up in MakerCam. So one thing that's going to probably be your friend um, in getting this SVG converted to G-code in MakerCam is that you're going to probably want to modify um, some of the pieces of, of the cut. Um, here in MakerCam. So for example with this one um, the download came with some kind of notes you might say about the, about the file. Um, so not all of these lines are actually cuts. Some of them are the lines that are being used to um, show you where the plywood edge is. So like this for example, this outer line is the plywood, um, so you don't actually want to make that cut. So if you could just select it, and for whatever reason it, it opened strangely and has this part down here, but if you just select that and delete it, you don't want to cut that part anyways. Um, and then another thing to notice is that this opens um, in MakerCam very small. So right now we're looking at each of these little boxes um, is an inch so if you were to cut this it would be a very tiny chair um, but you can just select it all and then click edit and go to scale selected um, and scale it up to a more appropriate size for a chair. So I'm going to click OK and then zoom out and you can see from here that this would be a better size um, to actually make the cuts for the chair. And then one last thing to make a note of, at least with this design, but um, it's something that you'll probably notice with other other DXF files that you convert to SVGs and end up um, converting to G-code using MakerCam, is that it has these all these circles are the spots where um, it's going to pre-cut some holes for you um, to put screws in to put the chair together. Um, so when you convert the DXF to the SVG, um, it, it converts the way that those, those lines are being read. And then now you can see that there are all these little double, um, double circles to mark where you want those cuts. So you might want to go through and select, um, select the different lines, however you want. Um, and at the very least, you're going to want to select everything that you want to be cut in the correct order, as always, with 
um, with Maker Cam. So it's a little bit tedious, but um, converting a DXF to to NC or to G code is um, something that we're still working on getting a little bit more streamlined for Maslow. So for now, um, essentially what you would do is select whichever order you want to make your cuts in, um, and then like always do your different operations and then once you've got your operations set up um, then you would just export the g-code and then you would have that NC file ready to upload into ground control. Um, we're hoping that as beta testing goes on we can get like I said a more streamlined approach to getting DXF files into g-code because we know that a lot of the good files for cutting with Maslow do come as DXFs. Um, so we're going to keep looking into that, but for now, this is the method that we'll use and hopefully you guys can work with us and contribute to find a better way to get those EXF files that are online into G-code that we can cut using ground control.